Watching out for you, a Fox 5 I-Team investigation. A Lawrenceville lawyer is under criminal investigation amid allegations he sought indigent defense money he didn't deserve. I-Team reporter Randy Travis says some of those allegations come from a private investigator who once worked with the lawyer and secretly recorded a conversation that's now in the hands of prosecutors. Randy? That's right, Amanda. A lot of talk these days about indigent defense. Capital murder cases in Fulton and Gwinnett counties right now demand a frightening amount of tax dollars. Well, add to that the criminal investigation of an attorney who's collected a lot of indigent money himself. For 15 years, Christopher T. Adams has practiced law in his hometown of Lawrenceville. Like many defense attorneys, Adams is often appointed by the courts to represent clients who can't afford to hire their own lawyer. He gets taxpayer dollars for that indigent defense work, and this man says some of those dollars Adams doesn't deserve. Dollars being stolen, yes. Misappropriated. Private investigator Don Cameron worked with Adams last year as an independent contractor, investigating indigent cases and being paid separately by Gwinnett County taxpayers. Yet he says others warned him Adams expected Cameron to give some of that money back to him. He wanted half of the investigation funds that I had earned um, in representing his clients. Did he have any reason to expect half of the money that you were supposed to get? I visited Cameron in his downtown report. Lawrenceville office last October. By another the investigator made sure his tape recorder was rolling. That way, we get all get thousands of dollars in, then you can cut me a check for my portion, and what's left over is still a substantial amount of money. Later in the conversation, Cameron asked the lawyer what he means about cutting him a check for his portion. Hey, Chris. What's the, on, the, on, the, on the indigent defense billing or whatever, what portion of that is yours? What we had talked about doing there was for me to take half of that, yeah. and that's why we were billing a thousand dollars instead of five hundred dollars. They normally don't give me about five hundred bucks. Oh. And I've kind of started setting a standard for yeah. much higher billing on those cases. But Cameron says he was the one who worked the hours and deserved to be paid the full amount. So he was asking you to, in essence, kick back half your money. Correct. I'm a Georgia boy. I constitute that as theft. Cameron turned over his tape to the district attorney's office. DA Danny Porter would only say he's investigating and interviewing potential witnesses. But listen yeah, to what Chris yeah. Adams had to say about his former investigator's allegation. Well, he says that you asked him for half of the money that he was billing for indigent defense work. Is that true? Not at all. You didn't ask him for half? Mr. Cameron, as I said, uh, I wouldn't believe too much of what he's got to say. So we read him the transcript of the tape. Well, who said... What we had talked about doing there was for me to take half of that. I don't recall saying anything like that. He says that he's got you on tape asking for $500 of his $1,000. That's actually taxpayers' money, isn't it? Mr. Travis, I don't recall saying anything like that. Somebody wants to address me in writing with it. I'll be glad to take a look at it. We wanted to analyze all of Chris Adams' indigent defense invoices in Gwinnett County for the last two years. But our open records request was denied because we're told those records are now part of a separate investigation. Still, working from limited jail and courthouse documents, the I-Team found one example where Chris Adams got tax dollars for work he apparently never did. When police arrested Karen Bramblett for burglary and possession of a firearm in December 2005, the magistrate judge appointed Chris Adams to represent her. According to sources who have seen Adams' invoice, he billed the county for handling her preliminary hearing and for interviewing her at the jail or over the telephone. Total amount paid to him $195. But court documents show another attorney handling the actual hearing. And as for that visit or phone call to the jail... That's a lie. I don't know what he looks like and never met him before in my life. In fact, Ms. Bramlett says she couldn't reach Adams. That's why her mother hired another attorney. As I'm beginning to find out, it's all about money. And they don't care who they hurt. Even a lawyer? Especially a lawyer. Don Cameron says it's really all about an indigent defense system in Gwinnett County with few checks and balances on whether a lawyer really did the work taxpayers are funding. I think it's subject to um, being pilfered.
Gwinnett Energy and Defense Committee Chairman David Lipscomb says they are vigilant in protecting tax dollars. He told me his office did its own investigation and actually had questions about three of investigator Don Cameron's invoices. He says they found nothing wrong with attorney Chris Adams' invoices. But of course, they missed one that we found, mm -hmm. and we had very limited information to, to work with there. All right, Randy, how, many, how much money are we talking about here that Chris Adams collected in indigent dollars? Last year, $144,000. And, of course, uh, we'd like to see the invoices, uh, but apparently they're either in the hands or heading to the hands of uh, the DA's office. So perhaps when their investigation is finished, we can take a look at them ourselves. All right. That money certainly added up. Yeah. Thanks.